Roland. This tattoo's bad, dude. He asked for a eyeball of his father. He wanted it not to be a pretty eyeball. His dad's kind of old. Is there a good outline? No. Is there any smooth shading? Nope. Is there dimension? Hell no. I don't want to just be a dick and stand up here and just rail you into the ground endlessly, but this is not it, man. We are kicking off this epic competition with a three-round tattoo gauntlet. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, I hate the word gauntlet. Three rounds of tattooing. In each round, you will have the opportunity to earn safety. Succeed, and you will be safe from elimination. Fail, and you must tattoo in the next round. Oh, God. The first round is all about speed and versatility. No. Each of our judges have created a line drawing that you must tattoo. All right, Nico, hey. what's your call? My design's a lover's eye. I just want to see how well you guys can pull off some color realism. 60 Ooh. minutes, huh? You have one tattoo, one style, and one hour to impress us. All right, artists, round one of the tattoo gauntlet. You have 60 minutes to impress us. And your time starts now. Whew. 60 minutes is a killer. Magic. These artists have to tattoo fast, efficiently, but it has to be clean. This is their first opportunity to show us who they are as an artist. Here we go. Color is usually tough, but I'm most comfortable doing it. I do color realism. That's what I do. So I'm going to attempt to do Nico's design for this challenge. Sorry, being quiet. It's all Concentrated. Good. The hardest thing to pull off for this tattoo is actually making it look realistic without a photo reference. And I use your eyes as reference. Do what you got to do, man. I am scared shitless. This is the first tattoo, and I cannot keep my hand from shaking right now. It's about time I, I know, won this right? thing, huh? Sure. <laughs> it's a good day today. Good day for tats. Artists, you have five minutes left. Oh, shit. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. No more ink. Woo! All right. I can breathe again. I held my breath for 60 minutes. <laughs> Today, you had to prove your speed and your versatility. Tattooing a 60-minute tattoo designed by one of the judges in the style they assigned. Let's critique the artist that chose Nico's design. Nico designed a color realistic eye. And we are going to start with Angel. I like the liberty you took on the eyelashes, but there's actually a highlight missing on the eyelid that would have fallen right beneath that eye. There's certain things that could have been a little bit cleaner. I'm sufficiently terrified. Holly. It's probably the most detailed and realistic eye that I've seen. The tear is awesome, but then when you really look at it, it's not clean. You knew it was a wonky ass line. There are tricks of the eye you can bring in to fix your mistakes and disguise them and make them look purposeful. Creepy Jason. What made you do this flesh tone in red? I just assumed it's a heart. Do it in red. The problem is you went and did a blue eye with a blue tear, which makes me believe that the person's sunburned. Maybe that's why they're crying. <laughs> Deanna. I can see under that brow how you put the warm wine color where it curls into the lid above the pink. And then in the corner of the eye to contrast it, you used more yellowy flesh tone. That contrast is so advanced. I love the eye. The eyelashes are awesome. Thank you Thank so you. much. Does anyone here deserve safety? That's the question. I think Deanna's tattoo would be an 11. Hands down, Deanna for sure earned safety, in my opinion. I would give her safety. Yeah, I agree. Deanna, you have earned safety. You do not have to tattoo in the next round. Thank you so much. This week, there will be no flash challenge. 
you'll be judged on all of the essential skills. Technical application, detail, composition, consistency, proportion, precision. Your shop's name is on the line and this race is tight. The smallest error could send you home. We've done everything it takes to get to the end and I'm absolutely not taking no for an answer. Get ready for a fight to the finish line because to earn a spot in the live finale, you must survive a tattoo marathon. Oh, that's a this whole competition has been a marathon. This could mean anything. You'll tattoo four different designs in four different styles, one right after the other. Jumping from one tattoo straight into another with really no time in between. It's gonna be a long day. Each shop will create one design for the marathon. Then, each shop must tattoo their own design and the three other designs created by the other shops. I think I might have a trick for this. I'm gonna do the line drawing on this, but leave some lines out and add some lines that might confuse the competitors. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I couldn't imagine coming this far and then just getting kicked out. Next style up is black and gray, designed by Old Town Inc. What's up, guys? Exactly what I thought. Good luck, guys. It looks like there's a couple of purposeful mistakes. Like, is that pupil misaligned? DJ tried to screw everybody. This is a really scratchy looking stencil. What's up with these up circles? I get it, it's gamesmanship, but black and gray realism is my thing. I'm ready to go head to head with this guy and prove who's best. You intentionally didn't put some lines? Well, I mean, there's lines that I'm gonna add that people might not. You have 90 minutes, and your time starts now. Hey, are you ready? Yeah. Somebody's gonna mess around and outline one of the lines in the stencil that's not supposed to be there. I already knew that Old Town were going to go with such a loose stencil to trip some people up. But more than anything, I'm nervous to be going up against Christian and DJ because they're all really good black and gray artists. It's gonna be a super competitive day. That's the idea, right? 30 minutes left. Curious to know if anybody else is pulling any of these effects. Oh, that's awesome. The Skin creases. Cells. Yeah. Nobody has seen me do black and gray realism in the house, and I don't think they understand how much I'm going to kill this. You have totally, like, knocked it out of the park. Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. Oh, man, that looks so good. God damn. This week, you had to prove your shop's versatility in a tattoo marathon. A spot in the live finale to fight for the title of Master Shop is on the line. Basilica, start with you. Old Town Inc.'s black and gray design. Christian, there's some areas of really rich, deep black that set it off, and then a lot of smooth shading. You create a real contoured image here. Old Town Inc black and gray design. DJ, I think it's lacking the rich areas of black and the depths to create the contours. The only place you have real solid concentrated black is the very center dot of the pupil. This kind of thing is what Christian is really, really good at, and you gave slow pitch for him to hit it right out of the park. Unkindness art. Old Town Inks, black and gray. Where well, I would say you're in the middle of the road on this one. That big, bold outline around the outside of the iris was a little bit too much. A softer ending on that pupil would have been smarter. I let myself get in my own head today. It looks like you at half speed. It doesn't look like full blast you. Black Cobra tattoos. Old Town inks, black and gray. Matt, I think the areas you put the hyper focus on are these eyelashes, the little corner tear duct, and then the small details that you have in the center of the eye really play nicely here. Next, Old Town Inks, black and gray. This one's a no-brainer for me. Christian gets this one. All right, the winner of this head-to-head -head is Basilica. Congratulations, Christian. This week, we're testing dimension. Dimension is showing depth, texture, movement, just not something flat. For today's challenge, you must tattoo an object so recognizable that any inconsistencies will be undeniable. An eyeball. Perfect circles are the biggest challenge in an eyeball. It's very easy to see any jagged line, any imperfectness in the circle. Is that the only criteria? Is that we're showing dimension and we're tattooing an eyeball, everything else is up to us? It does need to be realism. It is open for black and gray or color. Eyeballs are tricky, man. You can either make them look really real or they can look like a couple of circles lumped in together. I'd like to get an eyeball on my palm. On the palm of your hand. Yes, sir. On the palm, the skin sucks. It doesn't heal right. You can't make clean lines through it. No way. Only an idiot asks for a realistic tattoo in the palm of their hand. 
I was thinking about getting a hazelish type of eye on my foot. There's a vast majority of these canvases I don't want to tattoo. A lot of them because of the fact that they want realistic eyes on parts of the body that are very difficult to tattoo. Please not the palm. Please not the palm. Please not the palm. Randy. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. <laughs> that was at random, I swear it was. Roland. Hey, how's it going, man? Ashley. I don't want to compete with a bunch of crybabies. Ashley's got to go. You have five hours to create an eyeball tattoo using dimension to make it look just like the real thing. And your time starts now. Let's do this. All right. You just take a seat. We're testing dimension, and what better to test it than a realistic eyeball? An eye, obviously, is not flat. An eye is round. Then you have the lids, you have the lashes. You have all these different areas that you have to show dimension. It's actually kind of cool when you flex your muscle. For me, this is going to be redemption, because that flash challenge, my head just wasn't where it was supposed to be. I saw that you had a really dark brown. Yep. Are you going to go a little lighter? Remember, I had wanted like a little bit of an auburn. Right, right, light. right. My human canvas is a pain in the ass. There's going to be other stuff around it, right? Kind of. Do you want other stuff around it? It just looks kind of plain. And she's stressing me the f out. Like, I want to work with you, you know, but it's like. I got the canvas who wants his father's eye. You enjoying your tattoo? Happy so far. Very happy. Nice. I can't make this pretty. It's not a pretty eye. He's an old man. He's got bags, skin tags. I'm screwed. Roland's tattoo looks like a vagina with an eye coming out of it. I don't think he has what it takes to be here. As long as you're happy on that. I'm happy. Seriously, I would have tattooed this on your butthole to not have to do it on your palm. I hear you. Originally, I was supposed to do a palm tattoo, but I convinced my canvas to move it to his thigh. As of right now, Randy's tattoo is a bloody mess. It just looks sore. It's not very clear. I, ho I hope Ooh. you like it. Hell yeah. I'm giving it a my all. 15 minutes remaining. Is that brown going to show a little bit more once? You want more red, like where the brown is? Yeah. You feel like you're comfortable doing that? Yeah. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. I am not going home because this girl is a pain in the ass. She keeps psyching me out, and it's making me nervous. I don't want to have to kill you. You won't have to, I promise. This week, we had you create an eyeball tattoo using dimension to make it pop off the skin. Halo, let's start with you. You know, you came out and you delivered pretty much what was asked for. You are one of the few artists that was able to do a couple of perfect circles. You captured some nice light sources. The shading's nice. You have some depth in it. You are definitely the guy that everybody's watching. Thank you, guys. Scott. As far as the challenge of the eyeball, putting a lot of deep blacks in there to show this thing has dimension is very nice. I like the darkness of this tattoo, and you did everything with a purpose. I think it's a good job. Jay. I like the way you got the highlight in the eye, but some of the stuff you did was a little excessive. You put way too much emphasis on these veins. I did it exactly the way it was in the photo. It's dark, though. But the big thing that kills the dimension is the black stripe across the top, because it has a hard edge. It doesn't fade off. It looks like it's just cut and pasted there. Randy. The top eyelid looks a little misshapen. And the bottom lid kind of looks a little sagging, almost like the flies on like a little piece of beef jerky. I used an actual photograph. A lot of the black and gray in this thing is very beat and very red, and the tattoo looks painful. You turned in one of the roughest tattoos of the day by far. Roland. This tattoo's bad, dude. He asked for a eyeball of his father. He wanted it not to be a pretty eyeball. His dad's kind of old. Is there a good outline? No. Is there any smooth shading? Nope. Is there dimension? Hell no. I don't want to just be a dick and stand up here and just rail you into the ground endlessly, but this is not it, man.
artists. Today, we tested your ability to use dimension. In light of today's work, the judges have decided that there will be no human canvas jury. And there will be no best tattoo of the day. All these tattoos that we saw today is not up to par. And a lot of you got hammered a lot harder on nicer tattoos. Well, there's a reason for that. We want to push you to do even better every time. These critiques are not designed to just beat you down. They're designed to help you and give you hints further in this competition. You're here to compete, take your lumps, and keep moving. The judges have decided that the artists with the worst tattoos of the day are Roland. Randy and Ashley. Obviously, Ashley is not standing here with you, and that is because Ashley has decided to quit. She's gone, be gone, stay gone. Her tattoo just wasn't up to par, neither was her attitude. This is a competition, man. If you're gonna be here, be here. Roland. This tattoo does not stack up to the rest. We are looking for someone who's gonna be able to go the furthest in this competition. You are not showing us that. Randy. You turned in one of the roughest tattoos. I know you're taking a beating so far here, and I want you to come back and do some I just don't know that you have that ability. All right, even though Ashley quit, Roland and Randy, either one of you could be justifiably eliminated. The judges have decided that both of you will get one more chance. We're looking for people in the competition that we can keep pushing because they are gonna learn from their mistakes. That's hard where you guys are at. Keep your head up, even if they do hammer you. Oh well, just keep learning. Take those critiques as a positive note because now you have more tools to do what's better in the future. All right guys, head back to the loft.